welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I'm pretty bare-faced today and not gonna lie, it's pretty um, difficult getting on camera like this when you have larger problem areas um, due to hormones. I almost didn't get on and film today because I was like, well, maybe I should just wait for my acne to clear up, but I'm real and you're real and I don't want to pretend to be perfect because I'm not, you know, I have my good days, my bad days, and I'm just going to be real with you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So far, all I have done is washed my face and applied moisturizer. That's it. That's all I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and add my primer. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Matte Primer. And I really only focus it in my T-zone because that's where I get oily, that's where I have larger pores. Um, this primer has been working really well for me. I got it in my Ipsy Glam bag um, last month and I am really enjoying it. So. If you haven't tried it, if you have oily skin, give it a try. It's really good. Um, I'm going to go in with the foundation that I'm just obsessed with now. The Too Faced Born This Way and it's colors, ivory and nude. And I mix them like one to one ratio. So if I do one pump of one, I do one pump of the other and mix them together. And that seems to work out really well for me shade wise. Where's my mirror? Oh my gosh, I'm a hot mess today, I'm sorry. <laughs> my hair, okay, I get it, I got you. You don't wanna cooperate, I feel you, I have those days too. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and start with a thin layer all over the face. And as you can see, it's already evening everything out. I love this foundation so much because it can give me the coverage that I want without feeling like I'm wearing it. You know what I mean? Like most full coverage foundations, they provide great coverage, but it also feels like you are wearing clay on your face. It's just, it's too, it's too much. And Too Faced really perfected this foundation. Like they nailed it. Okay, so that is one thin layer. So from here, I go ahead and I take my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and I just spritz a thin layer on my face. Let that dry. And then I'm gonna go on with a very light, a much lighter second layer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with my skin tone color concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me in number 10 light. And I'm going to spot conceal further. And just use the pointed tip of your beauty blender and just kind of dab it lightly. I kind of just dab around the edges of where I put the product, leaving the bulk of the coverage untouched and just blending out the edges so you can't really see it. And that's about as good as I'm gonna get. I don't wanna keep adding product because that's when you're gonna make it look cakey, when it's gonna crack, you're gonna notice it, you're gonna see it, you know? And you wanna try and make it as unnoticeable as possible. Obviously, you know, they're gonna know there's a blemish there, but they're not gonna see the redness. My Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light. And again, I'm gonna use the tip of my beauty blender and blend it all out. It 
So now that we've added concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. I've seen a lot of hype lately about, it's this original formula airspun loose face powder. You can get it at Walmart, the drugstore, anything like that. And it says it's translucent, but to me it has a hint of a hint of color. But we're gonna try it out. Oh wow. Like I really can't see any of my fine lines. I really like it. It's, I didn't think I would. I really like that. I don't feel it. It says on the packaging, it says featuring an exclusive micro spun formula where loose powder particles are spun and swirled until they reach a cloud-like softness. This ultra smooth powder hides tiny lines, wrinkles, and blemishes and gives a new softness to your skin. Used to set makeup or as a foundation. That's so true because I was, that was the first thing I noticed is that the fine lines under my eyes, I couldn't really see them. So this is a hit. I mean, I didn't mean to make this into like a first impression or anything, but I totally forgot about it. And when I was looking for my Laura Mercier powder, I saw it and I was like, oh yeah. So I'm really glad I got to try this. So if you're just looking for a more affordable setting powder, Laura Mercier, I mean, it's on the steep end. It's good, but dare I say this is better? I think I would. This is the puff it comes with, and I really like it. I have been using it even if I'm not using that powder. So, wow, this is amazing. I don't feel dry and cakey like I do with the Laura Mercier. The Laura Mercier is a different tone to me. It's more yellow, whereas this powder looks more beige. This is what I do. So this is my full coverage um, foundation routine when I have more problem areas. Um, you saw what it looked like before and this is what I do. This works really well. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't, I don't feel like I don't want to make facial expressions in fear of like lines and creasing and stuff like that. It's not like that. I mean, I, I am so not on board with feeling like I have makeup on. Like I love makeup, but I don't love to wear it if it's uncomfortable. If I feel my makeup, it's coming right off. So trust me when I say that even though this may look like a lot of steps, you may think, oh, she's adding a second layer. They're very thin layers and most of it is just spot treatments of it. And as you can see, I now have even skin tone. Um, I hope that if you have some problem areas this works for you. Let me know if you try it. I would love to see your photos, you know, like tag me in it on Instagram or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is what I do to achieve a full coverage face without feeling full coverage. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.